hi aquarius this is your next seven days energy i'm going to look at that this is for the sun sign moon sign rising sign of aquarius uh, so what's coming to you in this time period i'm going to look at that uh, so uh, what's influencing you is your power of judgment judgment means self-evaluation self-discovery sometimes spiritual in intervention which keeps us on a higher ground we reconcile we resurrect we make peace with people and you know change ourselves to be our better self so uh, judgment is influencing you in this time period you could be dealing with um, cancer scorpio pisces energy or uh, you could be dealing with capricorn or taurus virgo in this time period or a gemini so whoever you are dealing with aquarius you are going to uh, have this higher power higher value with the chariot and the hierophant i am seeing that you will be overcoming difficulties in this time period with your focus and traditional values and commitments so basically it is a disciplined phase for you you are going to seek knowledge get a mentor get some advice and sail through your problematic situations in this time period but uh, it is also telling you to not give your power away uh, so it is asking you to immerse yourself and uh, interact with new people and move forward despite being traditional or austere in your approach so basically it is also asking you to be a team member it is asking you to be a, a leader who takes people along with them it is also asking you to be uh, forgiving uh, and kind in your approach and also um, be it's asking you to be spiritual it is asking you to be the higher person in your path in your path that is difficult but you will be moving forward like this charioteer and you will be uh, fixing your targets and you will be focused on your forward movement so the path that you have chosen is correct uh, the vehicle that you have chosen is correct so the vehicle and the path are uh, you know coinciding or uh, aligning with each other and you are moving forward so with the page of wands you are going to have uh, you know some good news there can be some money coming in for you in in the sense of compensation funds or generosity will be shown to you with a quick decision uh, with the knight of uh, swords energy you are going to make a big change in your life so you are changing over from stuck situations or negativity or uh, problems that used to keep you in some kind of uh, materialistic or uh, negative or codependent situation you are going to make a change a pleasant change in this time period and a very fast change the only problem in this uh, method is in quick or uh, you know fast changes that uh, fool is in your um, obstacle position so sometimes do not make changes without thinking so it is asking you to be more prepared in your situation and asking you to take advice in this time period and then move forward so ace of swords is realization of some sort and victory in chaotic situations you will be able to succeed you will be able to see your path however uh, this is a double-edged sword and a new path is coming in but it is not uh, uh, you know uh, without struggle so you will be making a move in this time period based on your experiences of the past your work uh, whatever you have uh, invested in uh, you are going to choose that you are going to choose in terms of jobs you are going to choose a line in which you have worked hard for a long time in terms of your uh, you know uh, relationship you are going to choose that on which you have invested for a long time so seven of pentacles and the ten of pentacles tells us about long long uh, associations it talks about uh, you know 
long periods of work big works that have been done for a long time you are going to choose and see a path towards that so long term will attract you in this time period not short term things uh, so your underlying energy is a new or a rekindling of energies in terms of love you will be speaking to someone soulfully in this week you will be feeling the joys of self-love or recovery uh, recoveries in health recovery in your profession recovery in your family relationships or your job uh, so underlying energy is you have a very strong partnership in this time period very committed in terms of job profession or family you have you know your stability and values you are going to make a uh, choice uh, about uh, you will be choosing traditional things in this time period you will be choosing uh, a path of value in this time period with the sun card and the uh, page of cups someone will be coming in uh, to improve your situation or uh, give you love or uh, apologize to you uh, your situation is recovering it is showing improvement and uh, with the sun card you will be getting name fame recognition appreciation improvements in health uh, improvements in uh, family life improvement with your children uh, and happiness with your children uh, or some of you could be taking a rest or vacation as well in this time period so your outcome in this time is four of wands and nine of pentacles you will be happy with what you have done so far in terms of your job money career finance uh, in terms of your personal relationships you will be reaping good harvests because of your um, steady approach stable approach four of wands can mean that you will be attending some functions uh, you know happinesses at home parties uh, ceremonies and functions um, with the nine of pentacles you will be uh, living in luxury having enough money in your bank feeling self-sufficient and accomplished in this time period so uh, many of you could be uh, uh, many of you have already made an effort in this time period and you could be learning new things or changing the method uh, methods in terms of your uh, work um, and you will feel very stable and you will be attracting uh, big projects or you will be attracting uh, lucrative proposals in your life uh, so the only problem is uh, you can make a mistake if you do not think and jump into something so basically it is asking you to take advice so uh, the card that is standing out for you in terms of your star codes uh, astrological card is the descendant card so the descendant card tells us about invitations descendant card tells us about um, how describes how you uh, let the outer world come into your inner world uh, so uh, it is asking you to look at how you invite others to uh, come in your party or dance with you be welcoming while also keeping healthy boundaries uh, in place uh, once you feel comfortable about your ground uh, rules for the people you bring into your life it is easier to open your heart if you notice that you keep people at a distance or avoid meeting new people investigate this habit though it might have been important to protect you at one time in your life consider how is it working for you now and what would help you feel safe enough to open your doors so also notice in what areas of your life you ask other people to do your work uh, for you uh, so descendant can point to what you might try to impart from other people while the practice can refer to an important skill in a work situation it has its danger in a personal relationship so if you feel disempowered you might be drawn to powerful people 
uh, if you are an extrovert who inwardly craves emotional and spiritual intimacy you might draw in someone who helps you cozy up at home it's wonderful when others can help you develop latent characteristics within you um, yourself but if you ask them to do this work for you uh, and they leave their goes your resource so the challenge is you give your power away when instead of working together you ask others to uh, do what is missing or give what is missing in yourself the gift of this descendant card is tend the inlet to your heart invite in a relationship that is clear healing nurturing and self responsible encouraging mutual evolution so this is what is being told to you in this time period gemini is activated it is your fifth house energy this is the gemini season it is the season of cross pollination it is the season of finding new people getting in touch with them letting them enter your world but with your boundaries so um, uh, and also uh, there is a rebirth in your 10th house that is the scorpio uh, uh, the house of scorpio uh, so pluto is the ruling planet and pluto is right now in your own sign aquarius so there will be a rebirth of some sort uh, or um, finishing of some business till the time pluto becomes uh, direct Uh, in your sign so you might be going through uh, changes in your perception changes in technologies methods in this time period you could be going through uh, you know <clears throat> change but you will be working hard to reach your final goals so uh, a lot of changes will occur but at this time you could be taking a break and moving on preparing for a new progress or a new path so uh aquarius if you have if you have liked this uh reading please like and subscribe if you have something to say to me write it in the comment box people who are going through issues can contact me for a personal reading these readings are prepaid pre-booked and pre-slotted so decide and then come towards me keep watching please do subscribe if you haven't thank you so much bye bye